History is filled with stories of wars. There has never been a time when there wasn't a conflict somewhere in the world. Battles are fought over land, for resources such as water or oil, or for political or religious beliefs. Yet most people don't want to be at war, and a growing number believe it is possible to settle differences without fighting. But is it sometimes necessary to defend your land and protect people by fighting? Perhaps there can never be an end to war. Is war ever right? In the 12th and 13th centuries, Christian and Islamic armies fought for control of the Holy Land in Jerusalem and nearby areas. Almost all religions say that killing and violence are wrong. But both Christian and Islamic philosophers have said that sometimes it is right to fight a war, what they call a just war. They believe leaders should only take their countries to war for the good of their people once they have tried every other way of settling a conflict. Have nuclear weapons prevented war? Nuclear bombs are the most destructive weapons ever invented. A hydrogen bomb, also known as an atom bomb, is a lethal nuclear weapon that can destroy entire cities in minutes. Several of the most powerful countries have nuclear weapons, but they know that if they use them, they will be attacked with nuclear weapons in return. Some people say that this knowledge has prevented wars. The only time a nuclear weapon has been used in conflict was against Japan at the end of World War II. Is the threat of the devastation that nuclear weapons would cause preventing another world war? Is it in our nature? Some people argue that there can never be peace in the world because fighting is part of our basic human nature. We fight to defend ourselves and our families, and attack others to take things when we need them. Others, pacifists, believe that fighting is always wrong and that war is not necessary. Humans have created societies with laws to prevent us from behaving like wild animals, and to help us resolve our differences without war. But there will always be some people who behave aggressively. Pacifists say that it is wrong to go to war with them and we should find a peaceful way of dealing with them. But is it possible not to fight back if someone attacks you? International cooperation One way to prevent wars is to make sure that countries can meet together and discuss their differences. Many countries agree to work together as a group, or in an alliance, to defend their people. Nearly every country in the world belongs to the United Nations UN, an international organization that works to prevent war and promote peace. Soldiers from many countries work together in the United Nations Peacekeeping Force. There are also international laws to help decide right and wrong when there is a conflict. The UN has international armies to help keep the peace. Anti-war demonstrations in the last 100 years, there have been two world wars, and many other wars on a smaller scale. Millions of people have experienced the horrors of war. Many people believe that there is no good reason to fight most wars and that the suffering they cause is not justified. In the 21st century, hundreds of thousands of people all over the world have taken part in protests against war. Nonviolence when the leaders of a country make laws that treat people unfairly, it can lead to fighting and even war. Many people believe that there are ways of stopping unfairness without using violence. One way is to hold a demonstration, a meeting or a march, to protest peacefully against injustice. Martin Luther King led the movement for equal rights in the U.S. using nonviolent protest. Another is to disobey the laws that you disagree with, or refuse to pay taxes to the government that is acting unfairly.